Західна Україна. Our city is in western Ukraine, 70 kilometers from Lviv and about the same distance to the border with Poland. Has almost 200 years of history of being a resort. It used to be a territory of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, then Poland, then the Soviet Union. And now since 1991 it's Ukraine. We have uh, numerous health resorts, about 90. We have a capacity to host 15,000 guests at a time. The main health improving method we offer here is our mineral waters, which could be consumed internally, as well as SPA treatments. This water has been proven to be very effective in treating health conditions related to urology, gastrointestinal tract, and more. Since we have about 15,000 beds in sanatoriums and resorts as well as about 5,000 to 6,000 that the local residents can rent out their own apartments. This is to say Truskovets has one of the largest opportunities in Ukraine to host or accept people at the same time and in fact a very large number of people had arrived here and were placed before the war. A few days before the war because of the information that the war will soon break out. Some people had arrived, some of them already crossed the border to European countries. And when the war started, the mass evacuation began via trains, buses and cars. If you walk around on the streets, you will see how many cars are parked. It does impose an excessive workload on us, but we understand our role and do understand that there are people who need our help because soldiers are fighting in the east, in the north, in the south of Ukraine to protect their families and some of their family members are here in Truskovets and our task here is to welcome, place them and provide them with food, make sure they're as comfortable as possible. And this is territory of Ukraine, so we have to do everything we can to provide with everything we can. In the early days of the war, the reaction was such. There was a simultaneous shelling at night everywhere throughout Ukraine, including here. At an aerodrome located 50 to 60 kilometers from Traskovets, as well as Yeruri fighting field that's located about 20 kilometers from the border, it is closer to Lviv. There was no sense of security and when we read the media that there are some saboteurs and there are indeed some and it's only natural for people to have concerns to check cars that come from the east of Ukraine. We try to check their documents to understand who has come, check the contents of their luggage to ensure safety both our guests and our city residents. Truskovets has a population of about 2,000 people. And now we have about 30,000 guests as well. I think no other city in Ukraine has places 1.5 times more refugees than their own residents as Truskovets has. When we listen to someone saying they have a humanitarian crisis, I think there is no comparison still to what's happening in Truskovets. You have to understand these people who came, some live in sanatoriums, some are placed in apartments, hotel. Some of them pay, but a very large number is accepted for free by relatives, acquaintances. These are just the people who have nowhere else to go now. Every school in Truskovets at the moment is placing people. About 200 people in, in each school have accommodation, beds and opportunity to take a shower. Food, we ensure they have food and are fed every day. And there are several such refugee welcoming points. Several trains a day come to Truskovets from Kharkiv, Dnieper, from Kiev, we are the final stop and people come here. Because we are over capacity, we try to call other cities to see if they have room to accommodate people. However, there is also a situation where people come, get some rest, make up their minds on what they need to do next or what kind of help they need 
and either help themselves or cross the border or go to other places where they can have better accommodation and circumstances. The scale of the things and resources needed far exceed what volunteers could help with, so we organized transportation. From Poland, tracks coming from Germany, from our partner cities and volunteers from Poland, or active Ukrainians who live there in Europe organize transport and we meet them at the border or right on the neutral zone, we unload from one track or bus and load into ours.